welcome to my channel what am i doing today today we are doing the painting session to the review session for these sakura opaque watercolor paints now i would have brought these to you in a review like session where i talked about the information about them and swatched them out and i have to work with these some in my book here let me get to my specific section right here so as you can see i kind of use some of the colors that i thought was the primary colors don't come at me for this it's just my opinion and um I did some color mixing with them. I also dilute them with water to see their strengths. I also um, use the white of the paint to see how potent it is and how I can pastel the colors down. And I did a artwork with this. I actually love this little artwork here. So I did work with this some to kind of get the feel for these paints and something that I kind of recognized was that you really do need to find your sweet spot when it comes to working with opaque watercolors working with thicker paints you really do need to know where your sweet spot is and because of the type of paints these are every single paint will have their own sweet spot so don't think oh because I worked one way with one paint that I will work that way with all paints sometimes you could work one way with one paint but when you but every paint has its own consistency every paint has its own mixture every paint has its own texture so the sweet spot for one paint may not be the same sweet spot for the other paints Okay, so for these Sakura, here is the color swatch me. Oh, I have it upside down. <laughs> Let me see if I could kind of pull this back out a bit for you to kind of appreciate the all the colors that are in here. Give me a break. Let me see if I could, yeah. Just for you to kind of appreciate some of the colors that are in here. And as you can see, it is a beautiful selection of colors. I really appreciate it. Um, I love the brightness of the colors. I would say that some of these do add chop to them because I could actually see it when I do the mixture um, you could actually see the chalkiness of these paints especially the white titanium it's it's very uh, chalky I'm not sure if it's only PW6 or whatever PW pigment they use but some of these are very chalky um, the other thing I could say is I emphasized it in the script of the previous video that these should be water resistant so I should be able to build layers on top of them when they dry. Okay, so I was trying to remember what else I noticed about these paints and then I opened my book and that is what I noticed, that the color transferred. So yeah, they do transfer. So when you you might want to seal these when you're through with them. And having said all of that, I think I am in a good spot now to do this painting because as you can see, I've worked with them. I've done an illustration with them. I'm used to them. Um, it's best to use them from tubes. They can tend to be a bit gloopy, but that's something I kind of get used to working with the Windsor Newton China. So I just think it's the consistency of the Chinese Japanese style of making paints. They tend to feel a little gloopy. But having said all of that, let me quit my blabbering and get to the painting.
I am finished. This was long. This was about an hour and a half long, as simple as it is. And I still haven't even put in my shadows yet because it was really long. Um, but I do have to leave it here and let it dry and then come back in, put in my remaining of the line work because I do need to thicken up some lines and re-establish some lines as you can see the opaqueness kind of disappeared some lines here here i didn't want to go too black for his um feathers here because he's a black bird and um so i wanted to create some definition so i did a lighter color on the edges and then a darker color within and then i mixed my own black for her hair I know her hair is not usually, her eyes, sorry, is not usually this dark, but I decided to put it that dark, you know, just to let her pop out a bit from off the page. And, um, but I do need to go back in here and reestablish some of my line works. Um, maybe put in some shadows somewhere. Like, oops, I just dropped my brush. It should be a a rule against letting your brush fall like maybe here I could re-establish some shadows right around here yeah the one thing I noticed that on this paper I'm working on 100% cotton paper you do need to work a bit more liquidy than on other papers that's the one thing I noticed, like at least for me, I had to work a bit more liquidy. My consistency had to be a bit more liquid than on other papers. And that's what I had to do, changed up how I work with it. As you can notice, if you guys didn't notice, I've been using like the same brush throughout this entire piece. So yeah. Just going in back in there, re-establishing, uh, putting in my shadows. I need to re-establish some of my line work. And the beautiful part about this paint is that it dries. Um, water resistant, so you should be able to layer on top of it. Yeah. You should be able to do some layering. So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to re-establish some shadows here. Yeah. And I'm using the same brush. This is the number 10 pointers. Just need to fuzz this line a bit. Yeah. This shouldn't be disturbed, so. It shouldn't be. That's all I'm trying to do, re-establishing some shadows. And like I said, I'm just going in there trying to re-establish shadows. Because somehow I don't feel like my piece is complete if I don't put in my shadows. Somehow I don't feel that way. I don't know if it's me growing as an artist. But that's how I feel. Like I really do need to establish my shadows. And only after I establish my shadows, then I feel that my, my, um, my work is complete. Only after I did this process. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Thank you guys so much for all your support. <laughs> and as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll kind of finish up my shadow in here, and then I'll get back to you with another. See so you in, in another edition in this month of the Gua series. Bye!